all right guys i'm back out again today i'm taking another little adventure uh don't know how long i'll be out today but i want to take you along with me again uh of course we're going to be looking for ginseng and we are going to be uh always looking for bigfoot sign and anything that's unusual so uh i'm gonna head on up through here and, and uh I really just needed to get out today too. It's kind of an overcast day. Good day to be out. It's not going to be too hot. Hopefully it won't rain on me. But uh, ouch. Ooh, that's rocky slick. But I'm going to hit up through here and see what I can find. If I find anything interesting, I will uh, click the camera back on. Hopefully I'll get to take a few pictures as well. So, All right. 10-4. Talk to you guys later. Guys, I just kind of stopped here just kind of to look around, take my uh, take a little break. It's a pretty hard climb up in here. I stopped beside this little tree. There's some cool features on this little tree. You can see where a bear has climbed up. You see there's some claw marks. You go on up, here's another big claw mark, and there's another one. I don't know how far he went up it, but or she. Yeah. See where it climbed up through there. Pretty neat. Looks like it's been a while, but it definitely climbed up through there. At one time, I found some ginseng over in here, so I'm trying to get back over into there so I can look around. Uh, where we've been so dry this year, we've not had much rain in the summer. Uh, a lot of ginseng's already starting to turn yellow and fall over. And, and stuff like that so it's getting harder to find plus some of the leaves are coming down and knocking it over but um, i like to get out and look around anyways and explore so so i'm just gonna keep a, getting on through here a little bit and see what i can find all right guys i have just climbed up this big old steep hill but the good news is i found quite a bit of ginseng right down right down in there I found several bunches about 10 or 12 uh, which is uh, unusual uh, to find that many just in one little place where that was. But uh, I was just thinking a little bit about Bigfoot and how it's just so hard nowadays to stay relevant in the Bigfoot community. If you're just a common Joe like me and you're not really, uh, you don't really uh, maybe post a bunch of nonsense stuff up, they don't want to that seem like they don't want to follow you or help you out uh when i say nonsense i'm talking about people who will take a picture of these trees and say there are 10 bigfoot in it when there's really nothing but shadows or uh, i'm maybe i'm just not very good at working social media uh, i'm just kind of not one of them look at me type kind of people but uh it's very hard to stay relevant in the Bigfoot world, or really, even in, with the films that I do, it's very hard to stay relevant and uh, have people people appreciate what you, you know, the effort it goes into trying to make a film or the effort it goes into trying to document Bigfoot evidence. Uh, I know a lot of people live in uh, places maybe where they can just uh, they go out on flat ground and they can make a few whoops and hear a few you hear a few things but now we're where we're at in kentucky southeastern kentucky we got to climb hills we got to climb mountains uh, we got to get into remote areas to try to find evidence most of the time and uh it's it's difficult and sometimes you wonder even with filmmaking you wonder if it's if it's all worth it because you know and me and my partner talk about it sometimes. We talk about if a hundred people watch a film and one person hates it and 99 love it, the one person that hated it is the one that's going to leave the review. And that's just, uh, that's kind of discouraging and downheartening sometimes. But they don't see the effort and the time it goes into it, I guess. You know, everybody likes a few pats on the back occasionally. But you just got to keep doing what you do. Do it because you like it and because you love it. And uh, 
just keep on trucking is all you can do speaking of keep on trucking i'm gonna truck right on around this way and back back to the left and see if i can find some more ginseng or anything interesting if i do i'll try to film it well i think i'll start making my way back toward the toward the four-wheeler uh i wanted to come up in here and look around anyways because of uh sometimes it's uh, as you can see it's kind of dry we've had a real dry year sometimes it's kind of moist up in here you can find tracks so that was another reason to come up in here uh this is really washed out but i thought i'd start making my way back to the uh four-wheeler because i want to uh I want to go watch maybe that new Rambo movie this afternoon. And, uh, and so I won't have to get on time to take a shower. I see, I think I see some ginseng over there. I'm going to go over and check it and make sure. But, uh, yeah, just talking about how, how much work and effort goes into this. Well, I know some people don't put as much work and effort into Bigfoot and things like that as I do, but... But they're better at their, uh, I guess their personalities are better uh, as far as being uh, being more uh, attractive to people, I guess, as far as the personality wise. They're a little more maybe loud or I can build up a little more excitement than I do. I'm, well, I've always been kind of like this. I'm kind of a laid back guy. That's just the way I am, so. But I'm just going to keep doing what I do. If people like it, it's, it's great. I wish they would. Because this is basically uh, making my films and doing Bigfoot and stuff is what I do to, to do my part of the earning a living. Other than, you know, I do some eBay and stuff like that. But So, you know, I'm pretty dedicated to it. Couldn't do what I do if it wasn't but for my wife, who, who's got a good job. So... But, uh, I don't know, just I guess, I guess it's uh, the people out there watching the videos and and uh, clicking the links and making the comments, things like that. I guess they're the ones who in the end really determine who is popular in Bigfoot or paranormal or making films or whatever. But, you know, I, that's something that's out of my control. All I can do is do what I do. But I'm going to eat over here and check this thing out, and then I'm going to heat on down the mountain. This little old creek's running some pretty good amount of water. A lot of them's dried up right now because we've not had no rain, really, in a long time. Uh, rain amount any amount to anything. Wind's starting to pick up too. Might be going to rain some, so I'm going to head down this way. And I think um, well, once I get down there, I got to hit that that big big creek and see if I can get out of here. I guess. But, uh, I'll make another video if it's not pouring the rain when I get back to the four wheeler. No bad luck. Which I'm going to look for ginseng as I go down through here too, and tracks. You know, of course. Uh, I found some bear tracks in the creek earlier, but you never know when you might find uh, a Bigfoot track. I know that sometimes Bigfoot is in here. Usually Bigfoot is in this area most of the time in the fall of the year, so it's about that time. But I have found stuff in here in the springtime that was Bigfoot related, but they seem more prevalent in here in the fall. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because the uh, food source is probably better. But all right, I'm going to get this little creek and go down through here a little bit. See that too, that big black thing right there? That's an old tire. Well, they uh, done stripping back in here, gosh, I don't know, probably 40 years, 30, 40 years ago. And they left it. All right, I'm heading down the creek. All right, guys, I guess that'll conclude today's little adventure. Uh, didn't find a whole lot. Found, found probably, I don't know, 15, 20 bunches of ginseng. Most of it was all in one spot, mosquito. Uh, 
Well, something funny did happen that I didn't tell you about, and of course I didn't film it. I couldn't film it. Uh, I was digging that ginseng. There was one that was uh, just above my head, and I was on the side of a bank to dig it, and the ground was real hard. So I, I hit the digger into the ground, and I said, man, that ground's hard, so I hit it again. And then on the third hit, this thing goes whizzing by my head. Scared, scared me to death. And I turned to look, and it was a big old frog. I mean, he was humongous. And I guess he was up under those leaves, and when I hit that vibration, sent him out of there. I'm just glad it wasn't a big snake or something. Uh, I have heard stories of people who, uh, about, in particular, my dad told me about a guy was ginseng, and he was walking up a, uh, in between a ravine, and he had a cigarette in his mouth. And... A snake struck out, uh, actually a rattlesnake struck out and hit that cigarette and knocked it out of his mouth. And uh, to see who was lucky, I guess the cigarette, the heat from the cigarette was probably just more than his body temperature at the time. And uh, he, he dodged a bullet there, so to speak. But anyways, uh, yeah, that, when that frog come whizzing by my head, I mean, he was close. Whew, he scared me. <laughs> uh, but uh, I guess that's, uh, that'll conclude today. I'm going to go home and take a shower and maybe uh, go watch the new rambo movie no bad luck if i can get home in time so all right see you guys be good